Hey guys, welcome back. I found this uh, really cool old speaker building software I used to have from so long ago. It's probably on a floppy somewhere too, where I haven't, that's how long I've been doing this stuff. But um, I wanna run it and I wanna use my Linux machine to run it. So I'm gonna go ahead and install an emulator, I think a DOS EMU. And I found this old thing on linux.org here uh, from 2013. It's basically it's just a forum post and it tells you you can install these via uh, basically your own uh, what, whatever's included in your repositories, right? So whatever your links. I'm going to see if it works. We're going to see together. So let's uh, let's get in here and get our our terminal over here. And we're going to do a sudo app-get install. First, you know what? Let's just do an update, and we're going to have to put our password in. Okay, so we got an updated package list, and then we're going to do install. And there's two emulators that we can install in here. Um, let's go down here. It looks like we can do DOSBox and DOSEMU, so let's see if this works. This is from 2013, so it may not. Oh, nope, doesn't find it. DOS EMU, at least it doesn't find. Uh, package is not available. It's referred to by another package. It may mean it's been... Uh, okay, so let's see if we can figure out. Okay, guys, since we failed on that, let's just try our software center and see if we can find these programs. Uh, probably won't. Um, let's do DOS EMU first and it'll do a search no packages found let's try DOS box oh look at that we've got it sound and DOS oh there's a flat hub version so you could go out to flat hub and just buy it and grab it uh, x86 DOS with sound and graphic it looks like there's a couple couple of them in here so let's go ahead let's just grab this DOS box here right so it'll come up and it'll say it's an x86 emulator with Tandy Hercules uh, CGA VGA SVGA graphics it's been designed to run old DOS games on platforms that don't support it uh, the following legacy sound devices are emulated PC speaker okay so I know that this one is more game oriented but maybe it'll still run my speaker software I want to run so let's go ahead and just go ahead and do an install and we will wait impatiently while this comes together all right now we can go ahead and we can launch right here or let's just go this route let's get back to our, our window here and let's type DOSBox and make sure it's okay it does it shows and there it is there's our let me get rid of some of this stuff. And there it is. There is, <laughs> there we are running DOS. So this is really cool. It doesn't look like I can resize this window. So let's just do a DIR, All right? There's our command com. Oh, sorry, let me get this down to where you guys can see it, sorry. There's our command com, auto exec bat. Oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Um, it's got some extra things in here. It looks like loadfixintro.com. Let's do uh, let's do intro. What does that give us? Okay, it says it's a welcome. Uh, graphics DOS box create a shell for you, which looks like plain old DOS. Intro mount. So um, it looks like we're going to have to probably mount an area. DOS box will stop exit without warning if an error occurred. Okay, so first. Let's go to DOSBox.com and then we're going to see if we can figure out how to get our um, our speaker software running in here. So I'm going to do a little reading on DOSBox.com and we'll come back and see what commands we need. Okay guys, I think we've got a few things to try now. If you remember when we did our DIR, I think you can see that, yeah, you're in the, you're in the view there. We have this uh, command called mount. So we need to mount our directory here. This is in my home directory. I have a documents 
and then a what I call a DOS drive. And why did I capitalize DOS all the way? I don't know, but I'm going to see if I can figure this out. So we do mount C, at least according to the wiki, I think this is how we do it. And we do uh, like a slash uh, home slash RB slash documents. Right, we're just putting the full path in here is what we're doing. DOS capital G drive. Let's see if that works. C is mounted to local directory home. Okay, so let's do C colon and then do a DIR. Uh, we have we have our speaker building. Now here's the thing that this may get you just like it got me. When you're used to working in Linux and Mac and as we're doing that switch from Mac to Linux Mint 21, uh, back in the old days, we didn't have these big long file names we could make. Uh, so we had like an eight, uh, I think it was eight character limit on a file name. So you see what it did to my speaker building uh, folder name, I'll call it, right? The directory name here. So now we have to do CD SPEA K. And you can see everything's case insensitive too because it's all uppercase. Um, so because we're dealing with DOS. <laughs> Hey, wow, this this takes me to the Wayback Machine now. Uh, so there we get to that drive, and then I probably did the same thing here. No, I didn't. So then we'll go CD. Uh, I sh we should be able to do this all lowercase, DOS box. Yeah, because like I said, DOS is case insensitive. It doesn't recognize a capital versus a lowercase. And this is back in the 90s, the way we did things, right? Probably even a little before that even. Okay, so now let's do a directory here. Okay, so... This is our actual DOS program. It's, this is going to be confusing because the emulator and the program have the same name, which is unusual. So DOSBox is basically a speaker design software. I'll put a link to that in the description to where I found this, uh, where you can find it today, I should say. I've had this for years. Um, but our EXE files, if you look right here, these EXEs, these are actual uh, program file. So we're going to just do a uh, dosbm.exe and see if this runs. I think that's the box modeling portion of this. There we go. Box model. Computer aided model for closed box, minted box, passive radiator woofer systems by Robert Bullock III, March 1991. This goes way back. Let's see, in 1991, I was in college. I was in college because I graduated high school in 1990 and graduated college in 94. So, hey, there we go. So let's hit a key. All right, <laughs> look at this. This is awesome. Now, one thing, oh, oop, 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 sorry. One thing I would love to do is be able to make this screen a little bit bigger. I'll have to look into that. But as you can see, it is running this program fine. Um, so, what we could do is we could input our uh, driver parameters um, and model a box here. I'm, I'm not going to go through how to use this program right now, uh, mainly because I haven't used it in years and it's going to take me a few to figure it out, but it does run. So uh, let's go ahead and escape. That takes us back to the DOS prompt. So now we can go out, we can find other DOS uh, programs that we used to have and throw them into that path in my home folder. Um, which was this speaker building path, the DOS box uh, is where that software was. But I can make a new path here under speaker building. I should probably rename this and remount that to make more sense, uh, like DOS drive. I guess, yeah, it was DOS drive, was it? Let's just go back. I'm, I know I'm getting a little crazy here. And we're going to go back. Yeah, so then if we do our DIR, so then I could make a speaker building folder, put my other speaker building programs in here. I'm on the quest to make another closed box system. That's why I want this. Um, and maybe we'll YouTube that. And then, um, you know, I can make other folders under this, uh, which would be the C drive here, the root of which I basically said DOS drive. That would be the, the root or the C, the, the root of C, right? The C drive. And then I can just put other folders in there for other systems. Like say I want to get some old games or something I used to play, you know, like Wolfenstein 3D or Duke Nukem or Doom or one of those. We could put that in here and, and uh, take a test drive on those. So anyway, that was a quick one on how to install DOSBox, the original terminal. So the, it's not in a current repository, I would say, for Linux Mint um, 21 anyway. 
but I was able to find it on FlatHub and in the software center uh, to just download it and install it. So anyway, we're going to do some more cool vintage uh, DOS stuff on here. And uh, anyway, I think that's where we're going to call it quits. So uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time.